Hello and welcome. In this training video, we're going to be looking at the interactivity of your digital signage solution. So what do we mean by interactivity? Your digital signage solution comes with what we call a touch widget, which enables us to create a particular area on your creative or presentation that when you touch it, it will then change to another creative. This has a whole host of different purposes. It may be that you want to use it as a wayfinder, for example, if you click on a particular area on a map, so building C for example, the screen will then change to show you from a map from where you are through to building C. Or it could be used as a sales tool. You may have an image up on your screen about a particular product, but when you touch on it, it will then change to a different creative giving you more information on it. Once you've logged into your digital signage solution, you'll be redirected to the home page. From here, we're going to be creating three new creatives and we're then going to join those three together using the touch widget. It's always easier to start at the end of the creatives and work your way through to the home page when doing a touch widget project. If I click on new creative, I can now choose an existing template where I can edit the content and add touch zones or I can start with a blank page. For this video, we're going to be using three blank pages. So I'm going to click on the plus symbol. On the left hand side are my widgets, and this is how we bring in our content. In the middle is our canvas, and this is what we're going to build on. And when we publish it, this is what will be seen on your digital signage screens. And on the right hand side, these are our settings. So the first thing I want to do, I haven't clicked on anything. So I'm on the default tab, which is the creative home tab. I'm going to click on the name, and I'm going to call this one. St. Paul's. I'm now going to move over to my widget and I'm going to add an image. I can either press and hold down on the image widget and then move it onto my canvas or alternatively I can simply click on it once and it will appear in the middle. If I want to move the location of the widget, if I move my cursor to the middle, press and hold my mouse button down, I can then navigate it around my canvas. To resize it, if I move the cursor to a side, or to a corner until the cursor changes to two arrows, I can then press and hold down my mouse button and I can drag it to make it bigger or smaller. Now for this video, we're going to be using three full size images. So I'm gonna move up to the top of the screen. It's highlighted because we can see it very clearly. And I'm then going to click on the four arrows pointing in opposite directions. And that has now my, made my widget fit the whole of my canvas. On the right hand side, I've already preloaded my images. And if you need to add more, we can simply go to Open Media Center, Upload New Media, and then choose where the assets are kept, and then simply choose them, and then bring them in to our Media Center. I'm just gonna go back a page. So I want to add St. Paul, so there's my St. Paul's image. So I'm gonna click on it once, and it's now filled the whole of the screen. We're going to come back to this creative in a moment, but we need to create our three creatives before we can add the touch zones. So I'm going to click on this save button at the top right hand corner. We can see the progress along the top there. And I'm now going to click on the X to close it. And I'm now going to make a new creative with a blank page. And I'm going to use the image widget again. I'm going to make it full size at the top. And then this time I'm going to choose a different image and I'm just gonna change back to the Creative tab and I'm gonna call it Big Ben. I'm now gonna click Save. Click on the cross, so we go back to our home page, and I'm now going to make my last creative. I'm gonna use a blank page again, Image Widget, make it full screen, and this time I'm gonna choose my home page widget. I'm gonna give it a name of Home Page. So now I've got my three creatives. Now we can use the touch widget to join them together. And to do this, if we move across to our widget section on the left hand side, and we move down to the general tab, we will find the touch widget. I'm gonna click and press my mouse button. I'm gonna keep it pressed down and drag it to roughly where I would like it, and then simply let go. And then I'm gonna press and hold my mouse button a second time to move it into position. So now whenever someone touches, the Big Ben icon, 
it will then change in a moment to the Big Ben Creative. So we've added the touch zone, now we have to tell it where it's going to change to. And to do this, because it's highlighted, we're going to go across to the right and we can see we're on the touch widget settings. Under action, I can have it as none. Go to a different creative, go to a previous slide, to the next slide, I can pause it and we can even launch a web page as well. But for this video, we're going to use go to creative. I now have to choose the target, so where it's going to change to. So I'm going to click on the drop down menu and I'm going to choose the Big Ben creative. I'm going to do that step again, click on the touch widget, move it across St. Paul's this time, make it a little bit bigger, and action's going to be go to creative. I'm going to choose St. Paul's, I'm then going to click save. So we've got the home page, so when we touch on Big Ben, it will change to the Big Ben creative. When we touch on St. Paul's, it will change to St. Paul's. Now what we're going to do is come out of this creative and we're going to go to the Big Ben creative. To edit it, we go to the pencil and this time we've got Big Ben highlighted so we know we're on this page and I'm going to add a touch zone and this time I'm going to add it over to St. Paul's. My action is going to be go to creative, my target creative will be St. Paul's. So the idea now is on our home page, when we click on um, Big Ben, it will change to this page. And from here, we can then move over to St. Paul's if we wanted to. However, we need a way to go back to the home page. So when I was creating my image, I added a little tiny house to represent home. So now we're gonna click on and create a touch widget. And we're gonna just populate that over the house. So when we touch around the house symbol, it will take us back to our home page creative. So again, touch, go to creative, target creative, home page. I'm now going to click save. And now we're going to move to our last page, which was St. Paul. So the edit button, touch widget. And this time we're going to add it to Big Ben. Action, go to creative and then we're going to have it go to Big Ben. And the last touch zone we're gonna add is gonna be the home page. So now, wherever we are within our creatives, we'll be able to change very easily, go to another page or go back to the home page if we wanted to. So I'm now gonna click on the save button and we have created our first touch project. Now what we need to do is put it into a playlist that we can then publish. So I'm now going to click on the X to come out of it. And at the very top of our home page, we're currently on the creative tab, we're going to click on the playlist because we need to put them into a playlist. And a playlist is the order they will uh, play in, or in this case, it means that we're going to transfer those three creatives over together. So I'm going to now make a new playlist. So I'm going to click on new playlist. At the top here, it's currently called Untitled Playlist. So I'm gonna change the name by simply typing over the top. I can add a description if I wanted to. And now I can add my creatives. And I'm gonna start with the home page. So we can see it's the home page. And I'm gonna click on the plus symbol. And we can see that it says 10 seconds at the bottom here. So I'm actually gonna increase that to 180. I'm now going to add Big Ben. Now I'm going to change the time of this and I'm going to put it for 25 seconds. But it's not going to be playing in a standard slideshow and I'll explain in just a moment. We're just going to add St. Paul's and I'm going to put this up there for 25 seconds. So what we're going to now do is make it so when we publish this, it will stay on the home page until we touch on one of the buttons or touch zones and it will then change to Big Ben or to St. Paul's. The reason I've added 25 seconds here is because if someone touches it, it will change to Big Ben and if they walk away, we would be stuck on the Big Ben creative. Whereas by adding that 25 seconds, it will spend 25 seconds on that page and then it will automatically revert back to the home page. So that's what we've now got to do is make it so that it will stay on home page. So if I now click on the calendar, 
And at the top here, we're going to move over to events. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is click on it and say this is a touch event. So now the system knows that it's going to have to work together with other presentations. If I move down to the bottom here, we can see creative cannot be interrupted. So if this was a video, so we pressed on a creative and then played a video, we wouldn't want it to cut short. So we would then tick this button. We can now say play only on event. So the creative would no longer be played in the playlist order, only in the triggered event. All right. So we're not going to want to activate this one, but we will do for the other two. And because I want it to always stay on the home page, I'm going to click on empty screen event. So if it doesn't recognize anything to play, it will automatically play the home page, which is what we want it to do. So this will now stay up there all the time. So I'm now going to come down to the bottom and click add. I've now got to do the same with Big Ben and St. Paul. So I'm going to click on my calendar, click on event. I'm going to tell it it's an, a touch event and I'm going to click play only on event. So it's not going to spend a change after 30 seconds or 90 seconds or 120 seconds. It will stay on that home page and only play this one when it recognizes that touch has been used. So I'm going to click add and do exactly the same for the last one. So again, touch event, play only on event, and I'm now going to click add. So we've now created our three creatives, join them together with the touch widget. We've now put them into a playlist and set them up to recognize that, yep, they're going to be working together. And I'm now going to click create. So we've now completed creating our playlist. The last step will be to publish it. And to do this, we're going to click onto the screens. We're going to go to my screen one and I'm going to click on the edit button. And I'm now going to add my touch playlist. I'm going to come across to the right hand side and I'm going to click update. And that has now been copied and sent across to our media player and we'll start playing on our screen momentarily. But let's have a look. So if I click on copy screen and I'm just going to paste it in to Google and we have now can see exactly what's going to be on the media player. So now when I click on Big Ben, it will change to the Big Ben map. When I click on St. Paul's, it will change to St. Paul's. And when I click on the home icon, it will go back to home. So it's a really easy way by adding it into another browser, we can just test it all works and then people can start using it on your digital signage screen. Now, now that we've published it to a digital signage screen, it is important to make sure that your media player is set up correctly. So your media player must be able to have a USB plugged into it, because what we would need to do is have the media player go into the screen with an HDMI cable. So that will take through the image and the sound if there is any. You will then need to use a USB cable from your media player into your touch input on your interactive screen. And then that will then tell the player when we touch the screen that a touch has been activated and will then be able to change the creative. If you're unsure of the specifications, please refer to your training documentation for the touch widget hardware or for the kiosk. Thank you very much for watching this video.